Hi, Zeus here. Global number one just populated on my map, and I want to show you how to beat him. So the current global number one has 2,289 victory points and is running a two rear grappler base. The key to beating these bases is to first identify where all six shock mines are. And he's got five of the shock mines in the rear of the base near the grapplers and only one in the front. And that's actually a really good thing because it makes it easier to beat the base. So first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna load up a different set of troops to go after this base. I'm gonna load up three scorchers, two mechs, one bombardier and some laser rangers and then I'm gonna do a boost of six of my eight offensive statues and actually you know maybe I'll add a seventh because I don't want to get held up with this by this guy I've been told that if you attack him and you don't uh, succeed the first time he'll hang on line for hours on end and I just don't have time tonight to uh, wait him out. So I just added a seventh statue just for the heck of it, just to make it easy to beat him. Uh, so there's this shock mine there. There's a bunch of boom mines there too. So I'm gonna throw down a critter box at the right moment in time to clear all that so that it doesn't damage my troops coming up that side. I'm gonna launch a scorcher and a mech far right, uh, scorcher in the middle, and then everything else far left. And then as soon as I throw down that critter box, I'm going to throw down a shock on the first grappler so it doesn't grab any of my troops. I triggered second wind to protect my laser rangers. My troops are progressing nicely through the base. Uh, lost one scorcher there. And then I'm going to throw down some smoke in the back at a critter box to trigger all three of those shock mines that he's got there. And additional shocks on the rocket launcher and shock launcher on the left so that they don't get any of my laser rangers coming up that side on the grapplers and then on the rocket launcher and shock launcher on the right side so that I can progress easily into the core of the defenses of the base. I let the smoke clear, throw down a crystal shield projector which is a temporary gunboat ability to help my troops survive the initial blast from the defenses and it's going really well actually I'm throw down a barrage and some bombs to clear some of the, the defenses that survived and there's really nothing left there in the defenses I just obliterated all of his defenses around the court so I'm gonna have some fun with this guy next uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a, a victory lap so I'm gonna clear every single mine in every single building before I beat the HQ. So there's one random mine that I missed on the far left there. Everything else has been cleared from mines and then I've just got these few buildings coming up the right edge into the rear to the one shield gen that survived. So I'm gonna flare everything I've got over that way. And then I'm gonna do a a circle around the HQ with the flares that I've got with the remaining gunboat energy that I have. Uh, hopefully keeping the core alive while I get all of my troops around once. Anyhow, so this guy has been global number one for uh, several weeks now and appears not interested in uh, retiring now that he's got a pretty good gold rim around his base. And several of us are rather upset that he's not letting Jackie, who's really put in a great effort, an uh, Arab player, from becoming global number one. So a little, little uh, ticked off of this guy. That's why I'm doing the victory lap on him. You know, greed is not necessarily good in Boom Beach. Look at that. I got four large crystals for my efforts. So that was pretty good. And relatively modest troop losses. I lost uh, four Scorchers and six Laser Rangers, and that's it. So... Not too expensive, 422,000 in gold for the privilege of beating global number one. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please give this video a like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. We've got over 200 videos on a variety of Boom Beach topics. 
And thanks as always to Hercules for help with the video editing.